what up my friends jay here and we're back and we're bringing you a head-to-head -head. um i'm hoping this comes out okay the frames are a little bit yeah i'm dropping a little bit of frames but i want to bring you head-to-head -head where i'm actually commenting and this is actually a pretty good game it's a decent defensive battle i'm in carolina my opponent i believe i think i remember arizona because he sent me a, a really really weird message after the game but you know how we handle these uh message and we're playing a lot of two man under and um every once in a while we send a blitz and the qb spy blitz right there and uh, we're gonna get him in third along and uh we're back we're, we're gonna try. every time i do a commentary i love oh, look at that qb spy glitch we like to say we're gonna be active and sometimes it doesn't happen um I'm in Carolina on offense, and right now I have Cam Newton at quarterback, and I don't know if I'm going to keep Carolina on, or I think I'm going to keep Carolina on offense, but I don't think I'm going to keep Cam Newton at quarterback. That was okay, Reed. Um, we're going to get third and one here. We're going to run a little fullback dive. He gets a block shed, and we run QB sneak, and it looked like QB sneak defense to me. I might have had it, but I did fumble. So, oh shit, good defense from my opponent. Now he's going back fullback dive. We definitely have fullback dive defense this late in the game. I'm a, I like to think of myself as one of the best players in Madden Ultimate Team. Madden Ultimate Team are one of the best players. So we're usually ready for about everything they can possibly give us, unless it's something I have not seen before. And so we got the ball again, and this is actually a horrible read. This is Cam Newton. I beat it, I'm on the man, and then here we go to QB Sneak. I, Austin was open there, that was a poorly thrown ball. And then here, Austin has a TD, and we overthrow it, so we punt the ball back. Um, so This is my thing. We're in tight slots for a lot of reasons. 3-4 evens taken over the community. If you're playing a Mike Scrape Blitz, that's unslidable. Your, your verse in 3-4 even. And the best way to control that is under center and play action. And so I'm just like, 3-4 even. That was a good read by him. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to make my main formation under center now. So we're going to the tight slots. Uh, I run a pretty, pretty, oh, my phone is ringing. A pretty typical 3-4 even. Man, we're getting a good block shed. Strayham's a fucking god. Um, so I got a Hatcher and Stray Hand, the only two Blitz in. And I'm a, if you're only going to send two or three people, you want guys with good finesse move, and they both have basically 99 finesse move. And I have the best man. Ooh, Revis almost jumped it. I think I sent the blue there. I got the best uh, man DBs and the best finesse move linemen on my team. You might think Jason Hatcher, eh? But he's kind of, he's really glitchy the way I use him. That was a good read by him. That's one of my favorite plays. Uh, Zona Post, I believe he ran right there. I'm really familiar with this offense because it is my favorite offense. It's just with, now that the 3 4 evens, kind of the main defense everybody's running, the scrape three blitzes, they're tough to stop. You slide right versus the basic scrape defense, you slide left versus the linebackers move to the left scrape blitz. But. It, it could still come in <laughs> like it's really a blitz and it's really the only reason I'm in Carolina and I know I have some plays in Carolina to take advantage of and there's a lot of good read option plays and a lot of good inside zones you see we're we're shut out at halftime so that's not a good thing but we're just trying to get going go a little HB toss a little cheese a little play right there um, let's try to get him, you know, we, we will run these cheese plays. Now we'll go back to FB dies. Frames are up there a little bit. Poe up the middle. Poe is I really want to get JJ Watt, but I'm not going to pay 100k for him. But that JJ Watt's probably better than Poe. But Watt can't block. Poe can, I don't know. But there we hit Nelson over the middle on the skinny post. You know, we're going to run a little inside zone. Uh, I don't think we came out in inside zone. We end up audible into it. We're going to run it again. And we're going to go up 7-3. And we've looked good on defense. We just got to be good on offense. And, um... One thing about me is I don't turn the ball over too often unless I fumble. So I don't make bad throws and I don't throw balls up for aggressive catches too often unless it's like a fourth down and I see one on one and I got nothing else. So as you're going to see, I, pl I play a pretty convenient offense. We're just in tight. I don't know. We're, we, we ran inside zone that last thing and that seemed to be uh, the way to go. He goes to a toss. We end up holding it. So we're going to get a, a fourth and two right here. Here, I think I tried to send the blitz. 
and I fucked up something, so it didn't come in because I saw the people, but the coverage was still good. So we got the ball back, and we like the situation that we're in, and I felt like we were close up the line there. I tried to cut back an inside zone. I get shut down, and then here, if you press me, that play is basically, you can't press tight slots, because if you do, I put uh, Austin on a fade. But the problem is Cam Newton overthrows that pass a lot. So that's why we might move on from Cam Newton. <laughs> because <laughs> overthrowing that play is a biggie. And there we go. Good play by Revis. And I can't have that. Th I can't have that. If they're going to press me, I know I can beat it deep with Devon Austin. The problem is <laughs> I got to have a quarterback that can make that throw. <laughs> and then here my opponent's going to quit. We have some more. Uh, stuff coming. I just did Golden Sports Tournament via Condias Ross. 